face a bit. This looks like a rather bland, cream-coloured pot. It does. No colour. A bit dull, isn't it? Yeah. When did you get it? It was my grand's, and when she died, my mum popped it in the bottom of the kitchen cupboard. So that's where it was till mum died. And then when I, we're clearing her house out, oh, I'd better take it with me, I suppose. So that, and I've never known the use of it or what it is. And have you noticed that it's got these portraits? Yes. There's a portrait, yeah. rather regal looking gentleman. Yeah. And on the reverse, there's another portrait. Yeah. The lady this time. Never thought who they might be. I just thought it, it looked like one of the kings. One of those? Yeah. Well, I know who they are. Oh, good. This is a portrait of King George III. Good God. And it's surrounded by this wonderful Rococo border, really high quality. And on the back is a portrait of his wife, Queen Charlotte. But what this is, is a tea canister. Oh. You put your loose leaf tea in there. Yeah. And these came as part of tea sets. Right. And it would have had a lid, which is missing. Yeah. And it's made from a creamware body, which is a type of pottery, cream yeah. coloured as it is obviously, made to commemorate the coronation yeah. of King George III and Queen Charlotte in 1761. And it was made thereabouts. Isn't that fantastic? And it's not even chipped. And it's not even chipped. <laughs> and just think of how many of those boring coronation mugs there are about, made in their millions. Yeah. But back in 1761, how many pieces were made? Do you think there were many? I shouldn't think so. Yeah. Yeah. The sad thing is, I don't know who made this, and much 18th century creamware like this, made in England, is not attributable. So, on one level, it's a boring little cream coloured pot, mm -hmm. but it is a piece of early commemorative pottery. And there are so many collectors out there whose dream it is to have a commemorative piece <coughs> of this early date with royal portraits so beautifully executed on it. So it might surprise you if I told you that it would have no trouble at all making two and a half, three thousand pounds. <laughs> <laughs> that was an afterthought to bring that. I, you know, I just wondered what it was. That's amazing, isn't it? It's ugly as well. <laughs> <laughs> it's money for ugly. That's good. Oh, no. That's amazing. <laughs>